All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we thank our Heavenly Father for so much. My title now says, The Author Who Authorized. You know, uh, I've been looking at my big brother P.P. Drawings video, and uh, I kind of wanted to come back and respond back with this um, to let you know how much I've been learning from you, brother. Um, and Once again, we appreciate you for all the videos you've been doing. I think you're up to number 27 or 28. Uh, big shout out to you. Um, Holy Spirit laid this heavy in my heart and gave me this title, The Author Who Authorized. Because so many people don't understand when the Bible says Satan is the God of this world. The God of this system. The God of this age that we're in right now. Um, a question was asked to me um, yesterday, do Satan even need permission from the Most High to mess with true believers? Now we all know the answer to that. That's not a stupid question. That's a very great, uh, great question. Um, Sister Linda, you know who you are. And then you ask me, or oh, do he not need permission because he is already the God of this world? And from studying, you see where he got permission to mess with Job. So it kind of just led me back into going back to Job um, and going back to when our Savior was being tempted in the wilderness when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights in the book of Matthew. Um, once again, great question. Now let's keep this in mind. That old devil is the father of lies. And a lot of people always ask the question, you know, what's the biggest, what's the biggest thing the devil fooled people with? And you hear a lot of people say that he don't exist. Well, in my saying, I say the biggest, the biggest that he has done is twisting scripture. If he can twist one word, move it out of the way to fit his system, he do it, he lie about it, he'll mix a little truth with it and have you messed up if you're not careful, you know, from studying. Um, the reason I want to use this title because the author who authorized, the author is so important to remember right here, right now. The author gives authorization, point blank. Because the Most High is the creator, the Most High is the author, and the author gives authorization. But we must understand what happened from day one. We have to go back to Satan's rebellion. We have to remember he wanted the Most High's place. He wanted to be worshipped. He wanted to make himself just like the Most High. And we all know that our Father does not share the glory with nobody. Our Father has no one above nobody at all. And we got to understand all this. And if you understand this, then you know what I'm talking about in this video about the author who authorized and that the Most High is in charge point blank. No if, ands, or buts about it. But Satan wanted to be worshipped. His desire was to make himself like the Most High. Now, when you look at the word author, hmm, Genesis from, from the beginning teaches us that our Father is the author of this entire universe, including Satan himself. Satan was an angel created by who? The Most High. Satan has never been divine. How can he? So by saying that, Satan is not equal to the Most High. So once again, when you think about this word authority, look at the word author. It comes from the word author. All authority comes from the Most High. And the ones in position of authority was placed there by the most high. That's why you have to time hear me say on her what? Satan is an imitator. Since Satan can't create, he imitates. He's a, a copycat, we like to say growing up. He ain't nothing but a copycat. That's why when you see Holy Spirit, you see demonic spirit. You see demonic angels, fallen angels, and then you see holy angels. You see the word Christ, and then you see the term Antichrist. So on and so on and so on. Everything that our Father do, you see where Satan tries to imitate it, 
to copy it because he cannot create. And our Savior, back in Matthew 28, told his disciples that all the authority in heaven and earth has been given to who? Our Savior. And if you understand, our Father being with us, Emmanuel, God with us, to leave glory, to come down here to be humiliated, come in form of a man, and was still God, Almighty God, the Most High, but allowed himself to go through what he went through just so we can have a chance to have eternal life, just so we can make it in. So he told his disciples about the authority in heaven and earth was given to him. He would say, I hold the keys to Hades' death. So when you look at this authority, did Satan really, let me put it like this. Did the Most High really give Satan authority or did, did Satan take what he took? It's not a trick question. When you go back to our brother Adam, what went down in the garden, and I ain't talking about no bite or no apple like these preachers out here, a lot of them like to preach. Some of y'all know if you've been looking at me a long time, you know what I'll be saying, saying about the garden. But when you go back to the fall, when sin took place, when separation took place, it never was right ever since then. Because the Most High gave Adam that authority. He gave him all of that. He gave Adam a job that Adam didn't really have to do that much, but be obedient, take care of the garden, but when, when sin happened, that, that fellowship got broken and a whole lot of more other things got broken. The Most High blessed Adam. Adam had it all and he just pretty much gave it away. <laughs> then our Savior got on the cross. So you'll see the Most High gave it. Adam lost it. Most High coming to get it back. He redeemed us. Satan's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. To kill, steal, and destroy. So he takes, takes, takes. So I'm going to say this again. Did the Most High really give Satan authority or did Satan take it from the ones who failed? Any authority that this old devil exercises was taken, not given. That's why you hear so many people walking around with this mentality, man, I got to give back what the devil stole from me. Hmm. I got to take back what's mine. I got to take back my marriage. Satan stole this. Satan stole that. Stay, Satan got in my children. Satan caused me to lose my job. Say, and then you got to ask yourself, is it really Satan all the time? Or you got to understand something that got a lot to do with yourself. Because there is a battle between you and you. There is a battle between you and the devil. There is a battle with you fighting against the most high. There is a battle with you in this world going at it with each other. That's why you got to catch the series on what my big brother PP Drawings is doing about this world. This system. That's all that means is the system. Satan is using the hell out of Satan's system and getting most of God's people to follow right along with him. The ruler of this world. <laughs> Paul calls him the prince of the power of the earth. Ephesians 2 and 2. The God of this world. The prince of the power of the earth. That's why the Bible, you see it use the word uh, world or this world. It was it's referring to the present system of the evil one, which is Satan, a demonic satanic system that most people can't wake up and understand that they living in it and they can't separate themselves from it because they've been so used and accustomed to, well this is all I know. That's why John 3 and 16 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have to take it there. That's why John 3 and 16 is so misunderstood, so mistaught, because people see the word world and they think that God loves Satan's world. Oh, brother, but the Bible says in John 3 and 16, for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whomsoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. When he said God so loved the world, which world was he talking about? Hmm. Was he saying I love Satan's system? God can't stand Satan's system. God hates Satan's system. God hates Satan's world. So how can God so love Satan's world when God goes against Satan's world? His system. And you wonder why the Bible tell you that keep in mind if they hated you first, that I means the world hates you, they hated me first. And keep in mind why the Bible says that this world is an enemy to the Most High. Anybody who loves this world is an enemy to the Most High. And then you wonder why he say we in this world, but not of this world. All he's talking about is a system. You can put all these scriptures together and he's talking about stay away from this satanic system. The author who authorized is telling us stay away from this satanic system. The Bible never teaches you that Satan actually rules the entire world world talking about the most high system but he rules his system he is the ruler of this current system right now now if you want to talk about authority let's look at how limited satan's authority is if we want to say it in that sense let's go back to job he had to go get permission from the most high to mess with job and the most high allowed satan to do those things to Job, but the Most High didn't cause that to happen. He allowed it, but didn't cause it. That's where people miss out on, not everybody, but the majority of people can't understand the story of Job because they thinking that that's actually the Most High doing that to Job. But the Most High allow it, just like he allow things to happen in our life, but he's not causing it. And when he allow it to happen, he always brings us right out of it. Let the church say amen. I wish I could get about 15 more preachers to teach like this in their church instead of talking about all this prosperity stuff when what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul. Some people are going to prosperity their way right on in the hell because their soul is not prospering. That's why the Most High didn't allow Satan to touch Job's soul. Job had it going on. He had everything you could think of and when he lost it he got back plus. Boy, it's, it's so much to learn in this word, y'all. But the devil had to get permission. Well, Satan was like, well, you know, Job is only like that because you done blessed him with this. You done blessed him with that. If you let me take away all that, I guarantee you Job going to stop serving you. And you know what the big picture is that the most High was showing us? If Satan couldn't get his upright serving Job, what make you think he had a chance at getting our Savior? See, he's still playing the same old game. This little, this little um, packet deal he want to offer you just like he'd offer Christ in the wilderness. He offering you and me that same package deal. Are we turning it down or are we accepting it? Satan could do only what the Most High gave him permission to do with Job here, and nothing else more. So to answer your other question from earlier, um, sister, you know what I'm talking about. He did have to get permission in this case to do what he did and he couldn't do nothing else. See, Satan only has power that the Most High allows him to have because it is limited. And the Most High allows Satan once again to do that. Did he tempt Jesus in the wilderness? Did Jesus fall for it? No. I tell you what, you can have all the kingdoms of the world and their authority. That's what he offered our Savior. How could he give our Savior something that he never had? They go to show you that Satan is the God of this world. Now what would have happened if our Savior would have took that deal? 
I wouldn't be sitting there right now. He offered them the kingdoms of this world. What is these kingdoms? What is this stuff? It's made up of people. It's a system once again. And it's a rebellious system against the Most High's system. So Satan was tempting our Savior to join his team against our Father. And our Father does not tolerate none of this. Make sure this clock is still going. Okay. My video been shutting off on me lately. It's still moving. But um, back to what I was saying. Uh, he wanted our Savior to join his team to, to go against the Almighty. When you start looking at these systems and you, you can't figure out which one you operating in, you're in bad shape. Let's just close the video like this because the author, once again, gives authorization. He authorizes. When you look at these systems, our father's system versus this demonic system, when you take a great look at America right now and open up your eyes, really open up your eyes and look at what's been going on, and you wonder why they legalize same-sex marriage. You wonder why abortion went that way. You wonder why everything that the Bible say don't do, now the system says it's okay to do. You wonder why two men can get married, two women can get married, gay rights. You wonder why politics is all over the church. You wonder why everything that's wicked is accepted now. Because this is a crooked system. The Supreme Court on down, demonized on down, You, the love of money, this evilness, the internet, Everything is happening because this is Satan's setup. He moves through communication, airwaves, radio, satellite, movies, cell phones. Once again, why would you say that, JT? Because he is the prince of the power of the air. What's in the air? Think about that. Why is the internet so wicked? Why this little phone here got more mess on it than anything you can think of? And we wonder why the Bible says something so serious like this battle is not against flesh and blood. Rulers of darkness is what you see. Principalities. But with that being said, all authority comes from the Most High. Go back to Romans 14 and 1. And those in position of authority have been placed there by the Most High. That's why when you see people that are not of the most high when you see these church buildings that's operating because Satan has many church buildings many pastors, choir members many deacons, many ushers, many ministers of music, many deacons many, many, many things period everybody is not operating in the Holy Spirit, that's why in the book of John he said you test the spirits by the spirits to see if they are of the most high how can you match up and test these other spirits if you don't have the Holy Spirit, y'all? So, y'all, that's my time, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.